Hi! In this video, we'll be giving you a quick guided tour of Proto.io's editor interface. In the center is your canvas. This is where you'll be designing your prototype. On the right-hand side, we have the Properties Inspector and the Proto.io Libraries. It includes all the components you'll need, making it super easy to design fully functional prototypes without ever having to leave Proto.io. Components are conveniently organized into different groups. A group of universal UI components featuring basic shapes, text boxes, media placeholders, and more. All you need to do is drag one of the components and drop them onto your canvas. Under this tab, you can also find a library of thousands of fully searchable icons, as well as hundreds of animated icons ready to be used. In the second tab, you can find device-specific groups for popular operating systems, such as iOS, including buttons, on-off switches, and tab bars. All components in this category are interactive and fully customizable. Similar components for material design, watch OS, and other popular operating systems are also available. Instead of building your app from scratch, you can use one of the built-in templates, which you can find under the third tab. There are templates for web and mobile, as well as commonly used UI patterns selectable from the drop-down menu. Templates are ready-to-use blocks, such as sign-in forms, headers, footers, and anything else you might need to kickstart a project. Let's choose the sign-in form and double-click it to add it to the canvas. Templates are made up of individual UI components and are fully editable and customizable. Let's now delete everything and start building a simple project from scratch. To add UI components to your project, just drag and drop them onto the canvas and place them anywhere you like. You can resize elements using their handles and change their properties using the Properties Inspector. Double-click items with text to edit them. In the Font Family drop-down, you can change your font style using any of the available options. Alternatively, you can access the Font Manager, which contains thousands of font styles that you can easily import to use in your projects. It's good to know that a few handy keyboard shortcuts are also available for basic UI components, such as R for rectangle and T for text. For more keyboard shortcuts and helpful tips, check the Learn menu in the bottom left corner of your editor screen. You can also add components to the canvas just by double-clicking them. Below the Properties Inspector, you'll find the Quick Assets panel. You can use the panel to upload new images, video, and audio files. All project assets will appear here. To upload an asset, use the Browse link in the Quick Assets panel, or drag and drop an image or any other file onto the Quick Assets area or directly onto the canvas. You can also access the Asset Manager which allows you to manage assets for a specific project or even your entire account. Like all modern design tools, Proto.io is layer-based. Each UI item represents a layer. Layers allow for easy renaming, reordering, locking, unlocking, and grouping. Under this menu, you can find all your screens. You have the option to view your screens in List View for easy organization or Thumbnail View for a more visual experience. From here, you can select screens, edit their name, duplicate them, delete them, or use drag and drop to organize them. You can edit the selected screen's properties from the Properties Inspector on the right-hand side. Let's quickly set up the Cake screen. To link screens together and create the flow of your app, just drag a connector from a UI item to a screen to create a smart, fully configurable interaction. You can add more interactions and edit them under the Interactions tab in the Properties Inspector. You can save and preview your prototype at any time using the two buttons in the top right corner. Clicking Preview opens the player in a new browser tab. As you can see, the interaction works perfectly. Clicking the button on Screen 1 takes you to Screen 2. Now, back to the editor for a quick overview of the things we missed. Next to your Screens tab, you'll find Containers, one of Proto.io's more powerful features. Containers are canvases of any size and, much like screens, 
can contain UI items, interactions, animations, and more. Containers are often used for scrollable blocks of content and reusable content such as menus. You can easily convert your selected components into a container or scrollable container by simply clicking on one of the two highlighted icons. You'll also notice the Screen States area below the canvas. This is one of Proto.io's core features that you can use to create beautiful animations and transitions using timelines. Directly above the canvas, you'll notice a wide array of helpful alignment tools. Above the alignment tools, you'll find the top bar containing some of Proto.io's most essential features. In the center of the top bar, you'll find the Project menu. The first two options within this menu are the Project Settings and Preferences, such as the Grid and Interface Settings. Clicking on Grid Settings gives you access to Smart Guides, Rulers, and other related options. Through the interface settings, you can edit the editor's appearance and switch to the dark theme. Version history allows you to go back to an earlier save. Copy to another project allows you to copy screens and containers to another project. In the manager section, you can find the asset manager and the font manager mentioned earlier, but you can also access the variables manager for advanced prototyping and the screen navigator, which allows you to see your screens in a bird's eye view. You can check our documentation for more information on those. Add-ons is where you'll find links to download our mobile app for iOS and Android, as well as install the Proto.io plugins for Dropbox, Sketch, Adobe XD, and Photoshop. You can also access Proto.io's community portal, Spaces, from here. The Search button opens up the Global Search Modal, where you can look through all basic components, UI libraries, icons, assets, and even your screens and containers. The Share button allows you to share your prototype with a single click or add sharing security, like password protection, or invite specific reviewers. With the Export button, you can export your prototypes in HTML as well as beautifully crafted PDF files or PNGs. There's also a Learn button in the bottom left corner. If you need help with something in Proto.io, you can use this to search and find answers or directly get in touch with our helpful support team. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about Proto.io, please feel free to take a look at the Proto.io learning series and the rest of our tutorials covering everything you need to know about the tool. Happy prototyping!